Did you know that heart disease, it's the leading cause of death globally, claiming over 17 million lives each year? That's a staggering number, and it highlights the importance of being aware of the symptoms associated with this condition. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of heart disease early on can make a significant difference in your treatment outcomes. It's essential to be proactive about your heart health and not ignore any warning signs that your body may be sending you. Heart disease is often referred to as a silent killer because it can go unnoticed until it's too late. Ignoring the symptoms or dismissing them as something minor can have severe consequences, including heart attacks, strokes, and even death. Today, we're going to explore seven key heart disease symptoms that individuals commonly overlook or ignore. These symptoms are subtle yet crucial indicators that your heart may not be functioning as it should. By being aware of these signs, you can take proactive steps to protect your heart health. Number one, chest pain. Chest pain can be an early sign of heart disease because it often indicates that the heart muscle is not receiving enough oxygen-rich blood. This is the buildup of plaque, a mixture of fat, cholesterol, and other substances in the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart. When these arteries become narrowed or blocked, blood flow is restricted, causing chest pain or discomfort known as angina. Reduced blood flow leads to ischemia, where the heart muscle doesn't get enough oxygen. This lack of oxygen can cause chest pain, particularly during physical exertion or stress when the heart demands more oxygen. This type of chest pain occurs predictably with physical activity or stress and is relieved by rest or medication. It indicates that the heart is temporarily receiving less blood than it needs. This is more severe and unpredictable. It can occur at rest and is not relieved by usual medications. It suggests that a heart attack may be imminent. Number two, shortness of breath. Shortness of breath, or feeling like you can't get enough air, can be a big red flag that something's up with your heart. Your heart's job is to pump blood filled with oxygen to your whole body. When it's not doing its job right, it can cause you to feel out of breath. Your heart is a pump. When it gets weak or stiff, it can't pump blood as well. This can cause fluid to back up into your lungs, making it hard to breathe. Sometimes, the arteries, the blood vessels that supply your heart, get clogged with plaque, a mix of fat, cholesterol, and other stuff. This means less blood and oxygen reach your heart, causing your heart to work harder and making you feel short of breath. If a blood vessel in the heart gets completely blocked, part of the heart muscle doesn't get enough oxygen. This is a heart attack. One of the signs of a heart attack can be sudden, severe shortness of breath. Feeling short of breath can be an early sign of heart disease. Catching it early can mean getting treatment before things get worse. Ignoring these signs can lead to bigger issues like a heart attack or heart failure, which can be life-threatening. Number three, fatigue. Fatigue is when you feel constantly tired and lack energy, no matter how much rest you get. It's not just being sleepy. It's a deep sense of exhaustion that doesn't go away easily. When it comes to heart disease, fatigue can be a significant clue. You might find yourself getting tired doing simple things like walking to the mailbox, carrying groceries, or climbing stairs. Activities that used to be easy now feel like a big effort. Sometimes, even when you're not doing anything strenuous, you might still feel extremely tired. This can be a sign that your heart is struggling all the time, not just during exertion. What should you do? Keep track of how often you feel fatigued and what activities make you feel tired. Note if it's getting worse over time. If you're feeling constantly tired and it's affecting your daily life, talk to a doctor. They can check if your heart is the cause and help you manage the condition. Eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and managing stress can help improve your heart health and reduce fatigue. Number four, dizziness. Dizziness is that feeling where the room seems to spin, or you feel lightheaded, unsteady, or faint. It can make you feel like you might pass out or lose your balance. It's more than just a moment of feeling off. It can really mess with your day-to-day -day activities. If you stand up too fast, you might feel a sudden drop in blood pressure, orthostatic hypotension, causing dizziness. When you're active, your heart needs to pump more blood. 
If it can't keep up, you might feel dizzy. Sometimes, eating a big meal can redirect blood to your digestive system, leaving less for the rest of your body and making you feel lightheaded. Keep track of when you feel dizzy, how long it lasts, and what you were doing at the time. This can help your doctor figure out what's going on. Don't ignore frequent dizziness. A doctor can run tests to see if your heart is the cause and provide treatment to help manage it. Number five, swollen legs. Swollen legs, or edema, happen when excess fluid builds up in your tissues. It's more than just puffiness. Your legs might feel heavy, tight, and uncomfortable. This can be a clue that something's going on with your heart. If the right side of your heart isn't pumping blood properly, it can cause blood to back up into the veins, particularly in the lower part of your body, leading to noticeable swelling in your legs. One of the main reasons for leg swelling related to heart disease is heart failure. When the heart can't pump blood efficiently, blood can back up in the veins. This increased pressure pushes fluid out of the blood vessels and into the surrounding tissues, causing swelling. Your heart and kidneys work closely together. When the heart struggles, it can affect the kidney's ability to remove excess fluid and sodium from your body. This imbalance can contribute to fluid retention and swelling in your legs. The veins in your legs rely on muscle contractions and proper heart function to help push blood back up to your heart. When the heart is weak, it can't help as much with this process, leading to increased venous pressure and fluid leakage into tissues. Number six, irregular heartbeat. Your heart beats in a regular rhythm thanks to an electrical system that tells it when to contract and pump blood. This steady rhythm keeps your blood flowing properly throughout your body. When this rhythm gets disrupted, your heart might beat too fast, too slow or irregularly. Your heart's electrical system controls the timing of your heartbeat. If there's a problem with this system, it can cause irregular heartbeats. This can happen due to damage to the heart tissue often from a heart attack or other forms of heart disease. This is a condition where the arteries that supply blood to your heart become narrow or blocked due to plaque buildup. When your heart doesn't get enough oxygen-rich blood, it can cause damage to the heart tissue and disrupt the heart's normal electrical signals, leading to an irregular heartbeat. Your heart has valves that ensure blood flows in the right direction. If these valves are damaged or not working properly, it can cause the heart to beat irregularly. Valve problems can be due to congenital heart defects, infections, or conditions like rheumatic fever. Electrolytes like potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium play a crucial role in conducting electrical impulses in your heart. Imbalances in these electrolytes, often due to kidney disease, dehydration, or medications, can cause irregular heartbeats. This is a disease of the heart muscle that makes it harder for your heart to pump blood. It can change the structure of the heart muscle and lead to arrhythmias. So if you feel your heart is skipping beats, fluttering, or pounding irregularly, it's more than just a weird sensation. It's a sign that your heart might not be functioning properly, and it could be due to one of these underlying issues. Number seven, high blood pressure. When your blood pressure is consistently high, it puts extra strain on your heart. Your heart has to work harder to pump blood through your arteries, especially if they've become narrower due to plaque buildup or other issues. This increased workload can lead to heart muscle thickening, left ventricular hypertrophy, which is a risk factor for heart disease. High blood pressure can damage the walls of your arteries over time. This damage makes it easier for plaque, a mix of fat, cholesterol, and other substances, to build up and narrow your arteries. When your arteries are narrow, it's harder for blood to flow through them, increasing the risk of heart disease, heart attack, or stroke. Over time, high blood pressure can weaken your heart muscle. This weakening can lead to heart failure, where your heart can't pump blood effectively. Heart failure is a serious condition that often requires ongoing management and can be a result of untreated high blood pressure. Aneurysms are weak spots in your blood vessels that can balloon out and rupture, causing life-threatening bleeding. High blood pressure increases the risk of developing aneurysms, particularly in the aorta. 
the main artery that carries blood from your heart to the rest of your body. It's crucial to pay attention to these symptoms and not brush them off. Seeking medical help promptly can make a significant difference in managing heart disease and preventing complications. Your health should always be a top priority, so don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional if you experience any of these symptoms. To recap, we've discussed seven key heart disease symptoms that you should never ignore. Chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness, swollen legs, irregular heartbeat, and high blood pressure. Early detection and treatment are vital in managing heart disease and improving your overall quality of life. If you experience any of these symptoms or have concerns about your heart health, please consult a healthcare professional as soon as possible. Your well-being is paramount and it's essential to take proactive steps to safeguard your heart health. You can also check out my other video that talks about seven signs your body need magnesium. Did you find this video helpful? Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for additional informative content. We appreciate your support very much. Thank you for watching and take care of your heart.